Welcome to PM Movie Recaps. Today's pick is a crime and thriller of 2002, Panic Room. If you're ready, let's enjoy the video. Meg Altman, a recently divorced woman, is looking for a house in New York. She finds a listing of a house, and visits it with her 12-year-old daughter, Sarah. It's a big house, and the agent shows her around. He mentions about the previous owner, who died few months ago and was a multimillionaire. Meg likes the house, and learns the house was renovated several times. She then heads to see her bedroom, and she was shown the panic room hidden in it. The previous owner installed it for his safety from the intruders, and the room was reinforced by concrete and steel on all sides and a thick steel door. It has a phone line which was not connected to the main line, and an extensive security system with the cameras monitoring every corner of the house. Meg eventually takes the house, and moves in the next day. That night they fix few things in the house. Meg goes through the home security manual and activates the security cameras, which can be monitored from the panic room. She then goes to sleep. Few hours later, the men were standing outside the house and tries to break in, but the doors were locked. One of them, Burnham, breaks into the house from the first floor. He looks around the house and gets shocked to find them sleeping, as he wasn't expecting anyone inside. Burnham goes downstairs to let in Junior, the grandson of the previous owner, and Raul, a small-time thug. Junior gets freaked out after learning there are people inside the house. Burnham suggests they should leave, but Junior tries to convince that they can still handle it, and Raul will take care of mother and daughter. Meanwhile, Meg wakes up and switches on the light in the panic room before going to the washroom. Junior gets worried as Burnham is leaving, since he knows that he cannot do the robbery without Burnham's help, and reveals there is a lot of money in the house and promises they won't hurt anyone. Burnham was helpless and had to agree, as he needs the money. They decide to proceed with their plan and heads upstairs. Meg returns to her bed, but the light in the panic room is disturbing her. After switching off the light, she lays her eyes on the security monitor, and finds them coming upstairs. She learns the intruders has broke into her house, and she quickly rushes towards Sarah. They see her running and go after her. Meg wakes up Sarah and gets her out, but they were confronted by Raul. They quickly get into the elevator and heads downstairs. Junior tries to open it but it doesn't work and he runs downstairs to capture them. Meanwhile, Sarah suggests they should go into the panic room. They make an emergency stop and head towards the panic room, and they enter the room and lock it before Junior could catch them. He gets frustrated and smashes everything around. Meg tries to call the police, but she realizes she didn't hook it up as it was a different line. Junior gets worried as Meg could have called the police, but Burnham was confident that the phone was not working. Burnham is an employee of the home security company, and from the company's paperwork, the phone isn't connected. Inside the panic room, Meg finds the public address system, and tells them she called the police and they are on their way. Burnham looks at the camera and signals that the phone isn't working, and Meg is shocked as he is aware of that. Since they can't talk back to her, they convey by writing it on paper, telling them what they want is in that room. Junior says he will let them go, but Meg doesn't believe him. Junior gets frustrated, and asks Burnham to find a way to get into that room. But he was building those panic rooms for years, and there was no way for anyone to break into the panic room. Burnham suggests they should find a way to get them out. They get on to seal every exit of the house, in order to keep them inside the house after they get them out of the panic room. Later, Junior and Raul plans to get them from below, but Burnham tells them it won't work as they can't even make a dent to the reinforced steel. However, they keep going until they learn what Burnham said was true. Burnham finds a propane gas cylinder, and releases the gas into air vents of the panic room. He releases only a small amount, in order to scare them enough to leave the room. Meg senses the gas and they have a difficulty breathing. She tries to stop the gas using duct tape, but that doesn't work. Meg finds a lighter inside, along with some fireproof blankets. They cover themselves with it, and Meg ignites the fire from the air duct, causing a gas explosion and leaving Junior badly injured. Later, Sarah finds a hole through which they can see their neighbor, they try using a torch to signal him, in order to get some help. The guy finally wakes up, only to close the blinds and get back to sleep. Meg looks into the security monitor, and learns the three of them were away from the bedroom. Meg exits the room to get her cell phone, and finds it under her bed, but could not get hold of it, she drops the lamp during that process, grabbing their attention. She finally got the cell phone and runs back the panic room, before they could reach her. They learn she got a cell phone, but luck is not in Meg's favor as there was no signal inside. Meg then gets an idea to connect the phone to the main line. While she is looking for it, Burnham gets suspicious that Meg is up to something, 
and realizes she is connecting the phone to mainline. He immediately rushes down to the basement to cut the mainline. Meg manages to connect the phone, and calls her ex-husband, Stephen, and while she explains him about their situation, Raul and Burnham damages the phone line, and the call ends abruptly. After many failed attempts to open the room and suffering terrible pain, Junior gives up on the robbery and decides to leave. He plans to tip his extended family about the panic room and inherit the money, but he accidentally reveals there is more money in the safe than he actually disclosed. Based on Junior's calculations, Burnham realizes there's more than $10 million in that room, and he is disappointed as he is not getting any money, but Junior ignores and they get into a heated argument. While Junior was leaving, Burnham angrily tells him that is going to open the safe, and will split the money with Raul. But Junior dismisses that and opens the door to leave, but got fatally shot by Raul. Just then, Stephen arrives and was immediately taken hostage and beaten up by Raul. When Burnham tries to stop, he holds him at gunpoint and warns him to follow his orders. Later, Burnham asks for Stephen's wallet. They learn he is Meg's ex-husband and realize that Meg has called him. They ask him if he called the cops, but he didn't. They bring Stephen to Meg's room and Raul beats him up severely. They make sure Meg sees that and tell her to open the door. When Raul doesn't stop hitting Stephen, Burnham gets into an argument with him, and he covers the camera to not reveal anything to Meg. Suddenly, Sarah's sugar levels went down as she is a diabetic and suffers a seizure. Meg gets worried, as Sarah's injections were in her room. Meg watches in security camera, that Burnham is taking Raul downstairs, showing Raul got unconscious after they got into a fight. She exits the room to get Sarah's injection, and finds Stephen lying on her bed. Meg then rushes to Sarah's room for the medicine, and we learn that man lying on her bed is actually Raul, who disguised as Stephen. Burnham enters the room and finds Sarah sick. Meg takes the medicine and heads back to the room, but finds them in her bedroom. She tries to sneak into that room, but Raul is waiting for her with a gun. She pushes him and runs to the panic room, but Raul drags her away and he gets inside, and Meg manages to throw medicine before Burnham closes the door. But Raul's hand got crushed in it. Burnham doesn't allow him to open the door since he thinks Meg got his gun, hearing that Meg takes out the gun and points at the door. Burnham tells her to lose the gun and step away from the door, but she asks him to open the door to give Sarah her injection, but he can't do that since she got a gun and will kill them both. She tells him to give the shot. He agrees to do it if she put the gun on the floor and runs all the way downstairs. She does it but doesn't lose the gun. Burnham opens the door and frees Raoul's hand. Meg runs upstairs to catch them, but he closes before she reaches. They take Sarah hostage and tell her to not call the police. She agrees and pleads them to give Sarah her injection. Burnham gives the shot to Sarah and regrets as those things were not supposed to happen. Burnham tells Meg that he gave the injection and Sarah is safe. Hearing that, she gets relieved and gets downstairs and finds Stephen severely injured. In the panic room, Burnham finds the safe and takes out his equipment to break it. Later, two policemen arrive at the house, and Meg learns Stephen called the cops before arriving at the house. In order to protect Sarah, Meg opens the door and pretends like everything is fine, and the officers leave. Burnham gets relieved and gets on drilling the safe, while Meg picks up the hammer and start destroying the cameras. They notice it, but doesn't bother as they still got Sarah. Burnham finally breaks the safe, and finds the bank bonds worth $22 million. Since he got what he wanted, they decide to leave and exits the panic room. They keep Sarah along as a hostage and went downstairs. But Stephen holds Burnham at a gunpoint, and tells him to leave his daughter, while Raoul hides behind holding Sarah. Burnham tells Stephen that he is no harm, as they were leaving and he will never see them again. Where they are about to free Sarah, Meg comes from behind with a hammer, and knocks Raoul over a banister and into a stairwell. Taking that chance, Burnham flees from there. The injured Raoul crawls back upstairs, and Stephen couldn't take a perfect shot because of his broken arm, and Raoul overpowers them. Burnham stops after hearing those screams, Raoul beats up Meg and is about to hit her with the hammer, but Burnham comes back and shoots Raoul fatally. Burnham rushes to the backyard to escape, just then the police force breaks into the house, as they were suspicious over Meg's odd behavior, and they caught Burnham while climbing the wall. They order him to drop the bonds in his hands. It scatters in the wind and Burnham got arrested. Few days later, Sarah and Meg search for a new house in the newspaper, and recovering well from the traumatic experience. Thank you for watching, but before leaving please make sure that you click subscribe and turn on the notification so that you can enjoy watching more videos like this.